Okay, so today, guys, we're going to ranking every single FNAF animatronic by how scary they are. As you can see here, we have every single FNAF animatronic ranging from FNAF 1 to Security Breach. So, hopefully, we have them all. Starting off, we have Bonnie. So, Bonnie was one of the most terrifying ones in FNAF 1. Scott even saying that he's one of the most terrifying in the entire series. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in quite scary because I feel like compared to the others, he's like around that area. Next is Sheikah, Bonnie's counterpart. So, I guess let's put it in the same spot. And we have the end, though, that's in the. Uh, uh, Storage room, is it? Interesting, interesting. What do I do with you? You are really not scary because, like, all you do is, like, see him. And he's like, does he come after you in FNAF 1? I don't think he does. So I think he's just kind of there. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in no. Everybody's favourite, Faulty the Pirate. Um, you know, his jump scare is really lacking, though. So that, that's what really brings it down. But other than that, his character design is pretty, like, scary. And when he runs down the hallway, that is pretty horrifying. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna put him in quite scary. Oh, then the bear himself. In FNAF 1, I actually didn't like his jump scare at all. Uh, for the sake of FNAF 1, let's just have them all together. Just like that. That's perfect. Golden Freddy, he is quite scary when, like, first time you do it, but you might accidentally get rid of him on some occasions. So you don't really know when he's going to be there. So it's all like a jump scare, and then you're still alive. So I guess I guess I put him in the same spot. Then BB, the most annoying, blooming character in the entire series. You are not scary at all. You're just weird the endoskeleton that chases you is sometimes in fnaf 2 um i don't know i've never encountered this guy does he, does he jump scare you i know it's sort of like irrelevant because even if he does jump scare you it's sort of like the panic that sets in so i'm gonna put him in like uh somewhat scary because this one actually does something compared to this one with a golden freddy i guess like um yeah about the same bit uh, no, I'm going to bring it down a one. I, I prefer the mechanics in FNAF 1 than FNAF 2. His design is a lot better in FNAF 1, I think. JJ, Mangle, this thing is absolutely horrifying. Like, crawling on the walls and stuff, that's just not for me. I, I really don't like spiders as well. That has to be in horrifying. And then the puppet. Ah, goodness. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put this in quite scary because like, it's like Slender Man, isn't it? And then these two mysterious ones. I don't know what to do with these two like they're sort of just there aren't they not really scary i guess uh now we have got the three toys here bonnie i really don't mind so just not very scary and then sheikah also i don't really mind toy freddy he's a bit more massive isn't he he's more like a, a big presence he goes through the middle which is even more terrifying yeah i'm gonna have to put him in somewhat scary and withered bonnie he's one of my favorite characters um has to be in somewhat spooky and then she can join him but there's like yeah a withered foxy okay um this one's interesting you do see him a lot so you get kind of used to him definitely a massive improvement from number one especially like jump scare wise but not really design wise now Withered Freddy, i've always thought of him as like a weird character i really prefer the, this freddy instead of this freddy but it's not my preference it's just how scary they are and this one isn't as scary as the the original I, i'm sorry phantom freddy is sort of just annoying once again he doesn't really like scare you that much same with bloom boy you sort of expect it coming don't you and then the watermelon oh and i would foxy uh, one of my phobias is like looking somewhere and seeing nothing and then looking back and then something's there he's like that sort of character so for me this is definitely somewhat spooky right, if this is freddy and who's this can't be two freddy's this is with golden freddy i don't think that's that's a thing. So that's, let's just presume that Phantom Golden Freddy is a thing. Phantom Freddy, not really scary once again. Phantom Foxy. No, I've already done Phantom Foxy. Phantom Mangle. <laughs> It's the same as BB, I guess. A Phantom Puppet, this one's always been a bit more scary because it sort of just stares at you and you can't really do much. So, yeah, that has to be more, more scary. Spin, spin Trap. Yeah, horrifying. Has to be. Now, these two are uh, Jacko Bonnie and Jacko Shika. I don't. No, <laughs> I really don't know about that one. Nightmare Balloon Boy, uh, very much sets the teeth. Very much sets teeth. I must say, this one has the nicest teeth out of every single Nightmare character. Also, with, with his weird hands, it sort of makes... Sorry. With his weird hand, it sort of, sort of makes like a weird, like, Goblin-esque sort of character. Quite scary, definitely. And Bonnie, and this one, Bonnie's always been scarier than Shika to me, so quite scary. Shika, to me, she isn't as scary. Uh, Foxy, yeah, you, you really don't expect him when he's there. Oh, this idiot. Fredbear alone was quite scary, but now he's got Nightmare version. This one's, uh... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty horrifying. And Nightmare Freddy with his little Freddles quite scary now regular nightmare i don't know why everybody's so scared of this man i i have to say this is the scariest jump scare in the game it's not for me it's not it's sort of just a picture it's not the scariest animatronic either so for me it's 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 not it's really not that being said its design is a bit scary and his name is literally nightmare so yeah i'm gonna put this as somewhat scary people are gonna be mad at me about that night marion my entire name is based off of this character i absolutely love this character but um 
It's not the characters I love, it's the characters that scare me. So, um, is he scary? He is like a weird octopus man, but I've gotten used to him by now. If you have to say anything, it would be, uh, quite scary. Uh, Mangle, the exact same place. Let's put him next to Foxy then. Oh, now we've got Plus Trap. Okay, um, not as scary as Nightmare BB. BB! Freaking 70 foot. Tall animatronic they did it. Quite scary. Do you, know, do you know the Help Wanted game where you like shut the curtains? So that that one's scary because like she's so blaming massive. Now Ballora, Ballora's more uh, you know instead of you know you know what I mean. That's basically somewhat scary because like you need to listen to the music and stuff. But the character design isn't very scary. Uh, this is Billy Bab. He's animatronic. We have to shut the door. Yeah, that is quite scary that part. Um, but it's really like the setting that's scary, not the animatronic, so somewhat scary. The guy who's playing in the sister location literally could just grab him and then just tear his head off. Now, Bonnet, um, I don't really know much about this character. It just isn't scary, is it? Electro Bab, he has no jump scare. He just drains electricity, uh, so, no. Ennard, okay. If this doesn't go up there, I'm a disgrace. This, this is a very scary animatronic. Funtan Foxy, I've always liked Funtan Foxy, like his, uh, design and personality. But, uh, it's, it's not really a scary one, is it? It's sort of just, like, the same as Foxy in FNAF 1. Now, Funtime Freddy, this one has been scarier because he's like so big and powerful. He gives like a, a sense of power, doesn't he? Also, he has the puppet. It's quite scary. Oh, what's his face? Oh, lol bit. <laughs> You're not scary. Okay, this is Mini Arena 1. I don't think they have Mini Arena 2, so I think it's just number one. The design with the white face and like doll like and like very small. It's just not really scary to me, but like. Yeah. Yendo. He's not really in the game unless he's like an easter egg. During the custom night in Sister Location, he sort of just like drains your oxygen like extremely quickly. And then he just jump scares you. But the problem here is that when your oxygen goes down, it gets like really dark. And you can't really see the jump scare after that. So it's just not really scary. El Sheep. I don't think he has a jump scare. I think he's just nan retired. Same with this lady. Music was man. Oh my goodness. I remember this character came out like everybody was horrified. Once again, I do not like spiders, but this character's never bothered me much. Definitely and like quite scary. Baby? Baby frog? Baby frog? Yeah. I, I don't know what to say really. And next up we've got the rock stars. We've got Rockstar Bonnie. I actually really like the designs of these actually. Rockstar Bonnie. Um. Yes. Somewhat scary. Look at his eyes. And Rockstar Chica with the macarena. I really like the design of this character. He's sort of like Mexican, but she isn't scary. Rockstar Foxy. You are not really scary. You are helpful half the time. Rockstar Freddy. I'm just gonna put him in somewhat spooky because he, when he gets like really annoyed that you're not inserting the five coins, his voice gets more disordered. Afton. AKA Scrap Trap. Yes, he, he is scary, but like not as not nearly as scary as the original Spring Trap. Scrap Baby, I think it's called. One of my favorite character designs. It's scary though, he's got like, the claw and stuff. I think I think it's more, s nah, yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Lefty, okay, the, I love the character design, the Lefty. It's sort of like Rockstar, but like broken. Also the, the fact that the puppet's inside of it, this one has to be quite scary. Molten Freddy, this character is just a mess of wires. It's never really scared me as much. So, this is quite scary. Oh, now we've got Trash in the Gan, the most horrifying people on Earth. Dee Dee? It's not really her that's scary. It's like it's the animatronics she summons, so uh, not, not really scary. This is Fred Bear. Somewhat spooky. I don't... I... I... I this weird character. I don't know what's this. I think it's got like a weird name, like, oh, it's QX... Whatever. I... I honestly don't know. She, she's, once again, she always says there's someone's animatronics, so it's not really. Oh, this one's horrifying. Look at him. Look how big he is. Like Frankenstein's monster combined with FNAF. Glitch trap. Okay, uh. This guy's not in horrifying then. That, that, that's a crime. Like, he's a weird man. Jaco Foxy, it looks like. I'm gonna put him in quite scary. Alright, so we've got Broken Glamrock Chica here. This one's broken, doesn't have a big, has like more terrifying assets. So, I'm gonna put this in somewhat spooky. I have no clue who this is. Going purely off design, this one's a lot like uh, Molten Freddy, so I'm gonna put him right there. But Broken Monty. Broken Monty is about the same as Broken Glamrock Chica. Now, Broken. Ro oh, this one's more terrifying. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one a bit higher than those. Molten Springtrap. It's a character I've never seen before. Quite scary. Alright, got Sun and Moon here. Moon is is much scarier than sun sun is not threat really but moon um yeah somewhat spooky oh now we've got the gigantic uh music man. man like come on how do i how do i not put him in like terrified glamour shika is not scary but like can be scary doing that the free room 
I think FNAF Security Breach is sort of scary because of the free roam, but like, other than that, the animatronics are not scary at all. This is the map boy. Apparently he's nice. No. I got the staff bot. You want to stay out of the way of it? Basically, that's it. I think I have to do it. The killer bunny isn't up here. I don't know what is. Broken, massive. Music man! Broken wants to step up. All right, so there we have it, guys. The entire tier list of every FNAF character on this list. Hope you guys agree with me, but I know most of you how will have a different opinion on some of the animatronics, definitely. So, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.